What's up, disc golfers? This is Matt Dollar. Uh, I'm going to do a tour update. Been a minute since I did one, so I guess I call it the tour vlog. Actually, I have done uh, one each of the last two weeks, but then I never uploaded them, so sorry about that. Um, been pretty busy. Kind of decided to take my tour in a different direction uh, after Ledgestone. I went to Indianapolis and... Um, had been considering maybe going and doing the East Coast tour after uh, the Disc Golf Pro Tour at Idlewild uh, or going back home and playing some events there but you probably noticed you didn't see me on the results at Idlewild and that's because I decided to take a detour and uh, actually just make the whole tour the detour and went to the Midwest instead so I played the Titan Open uh, a little over a week ago I was actually the defending champion uh, didn't go as good as I'd hoped. Played all right though. Um, really, the only true bummer uh, was during the last round. I was started out really hot, and then I got stung right in the wrist, like right here. Kind of. I don't know if it went straight into a vein or what, but uh, after like two more throws, my wrist started swelling up pretty bad. But uh, still hung in there. Finished tenth at the Titan A tier, which it had a really really good field. So tenth wasn't bad. Uh, my buddy Michael Johansson absolutely dominated uh, the courses, especially the last course, uh, Shaver, where he broke my course record by a lot. Uh, they did clean the course up quite a lot since last year, but uh, MJ's round is just dirty. Anyway, so after Titan, I had gotten in off the wait list for the Cedar Creek Open, which is an amazing uh, event. The courses, they're not the best courses in the world, um, but there's two courses at the same complex in Fairmont, Minnesota, and uh, Trevor Bone runs a, an amazing event. Uh, I was really looking forward to getting back and playing that event again. I tried to play it last year and hurt my ankle the day before the event and had to withdraw, so it was good to get back there, and I played really good this weekend. Um, ended up in third place behind Alex Geisinger and... Kale LaVisca, who both played amazing. Those guys are really tough to beat in Minnesota. I mean, they're tough to beat anywhere, but in Minnesota, they're uh, they're really, really good. So, And really, these courses set up to my style. Um, the Cedar Creek West course is a total, like, thumber course, and it wasn't really windy all weekend. So um, I played well. I think I ended up averaging just under 10.25 and getting third place. So I would definitely consider that... Um, that event a success for me. So now I'm chilling out in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and this weekend I'm playing the Lake Superior Open in uh, Wisconsin, right up there on Lake Superior. Duh. So uh, it's only like three and a half hours from here, and I'm really excited about that event. It's uh, played on a ski hill, I believe. There's two courses. I think they may combine them into a 27-hole course or something, but supposed to be a beautiful place and a really fun event and I'm going to be camping with some friends up there for that so it's really exciting and after that I'll be coming back down through Minneapolis and then I believe I'm going to head to uh, Illinois for the Wildcat Springs Open I believe it's called and uh, we'll see though I, I'm not actually signed up for anything that weekend yet but right now, the soft plan is to play that A tier and then um, maybe find a B tier to play the next weekend and then play the Peoria A tier. So basically, the Midwest Detour was five A tiers in six weeks, and I've played the first two. So I got three more A tiers to play in the next few weeks and a weekend to fill in, fill in some blanks. So after that, I'll be heading to the... Uh, women's USDGC and caddying for my girlfriend and doing a little filming too so basically just looking forward to the rest of this tour it's been good so far I've been gone for five weeks uh, four or five weeks and I've got four or five weeks left so it's been a good time and uh, I'm having a really good time I've been playing a lot of pinball here in Minneapolis I love pinball um, I guess I haven't really ever said that on Facebook or YouTube so uh, I like to use this app called Pinball Map and find pinball places all around the country. And uh, this place here in Uptown in Minneapolis is called uh, Tilt, and it's so good. A r bunch of really good games, and they're all taken care of. So 
I'd say in the last year I've probably played about 250 machines or so. So I feel like uh, it's definitely something fun to do while I'm not playing disc golf. So another thing I wanted to do real quick, um, it doesn't take too long, is uh, an in the bag. So on this tour, I actually have been carrying my uh, Easy Go, my Latitude Easy Go bag. So this is my disc golf bag and we will go through what's in it real quick. Let me take these water bottles out because they're noisy. All right, so we will start down here at the bottom with the fastest. Um, not dollar stamps, gold line ballista. This thing made me look dumb a couple times this weekend. Uh, I keep thinking it's super flippy and uh, it hides it down on me. So whatever, furthest flying disc I've ever thrown and uh, I love it bunches. All right, the other two drivers I have that are over speed nine in the bag are enforcers. Uh, I usually carry a defender or a gladiator, but I didn't really need either one of them this past weekend, and I'm actually trying to like club down from speed 13 to uh, the speed 12, so usually I just carry a fluid enforcer because they're crazy overstable, and I throw a lot of like big flexing forehands and big flexing backhands with them. Even threw a couple thumbers with it this weekend. But I put a regular Lucid Enforcer in the bag as well, um, just to have a more controlled uh, Speed 12 driver as opposed to the uh, the Defender, which I love and throw it much further than the Enforcer, but I uh, can definitely control the Enforcer better. All right, move down to the Speed 9 disc. Uh, this is a Deuce Squad Felon. Um, Got this from Brady last year. Actually got two of them, and they're super flat. And uh, almost looks like, you know, glow plastic. It's not, though. It's regular Lucid. Uh, I thought these would be crazy overstable. I really thought I was going to be able to, like, maybe throw some big thumbers with it um, because of the shape on it. Uh, totally wrong. I do still throw some thumbers with it, but I mostly throw it for backhands and sidearms because it's kind of flippy. Uh, if I throw it with hyzer, it'll stand right up, maybe even turn a little too much. But if I put it on the right amount of hyzer, it always remembers at the very end of its flight, hey, I'm a felon, I should hook back. Speed 9 is like probably about my favorite range for disc, um, for disc speed. So I actually have three Speed 9 discs in here right now. Uh, the felon was the first one, and then, uh, then you got the convict, uh, Paige Pierce convict. Uh, and the Lucid Plastic. Dude, this disc is amazing. It's uh, It doesn't start out super understable, but it kind of beats into understable. If you have faster arm speed, then it's going to be understable, like from the get-go, I, I assume. Um, but I love it. I like throwing hyzer flips with it and uh, flippy forehands, too. It's perfectly paired with my Elasto Hatchet, uh, which is super flippy. Um, but I like to throw this, hyzer flips in the woods and stuff, and then rollers. And then I even go tomahawks. But basically, anytime I have a shot where I'm like, oh, I'd like to throw my hatchet, but it's just a little too flippy, that's when I pop out the convict and throw that instead. Uh, I also interchange some saints. that uh, I have a couple gold line saints that come in and out of the bag, too. Uh, didn't really need any fairway drivers this past weekend. Uh, it was mostly putters and overhands so and sidearms. All right, so we'll move on to the mid-ranges. Warship, furthest flying mid-range probably ever. Uh, speed 6, not a lot of speed, speed 6 discs out there. This one's in the uh, VIP plastic. Didn't get to throw it a lot this weekend. Actually, I'm not sure if I threw it this weekend. Maybe once. Um, and the reason is, it's because I was throwing this mace. This is one of the older run maces, uh, Zero Hard. And I was throwing this as my mid-range hyzer flip. This one's really beat, and uh, I throw it with a lot of hyzer, and it just flips up the flat, and then hopefully turns on over, too. So uh, this was my main mid-range this past weekend. And the other one I always use as a mid-range is the Cenus. Um, this is my OG Cenus. It's seen better days. It's uh, pretty warped, as you can see. Um, yeah. This is the Sports Center Cenus, the one I'm always talking about. Um, still in the bag. I really need some more old Cenuses. In fact, if you got some old uh, Cenus SPs, holler at your boy. 
I'll trade you for them, maybe buy them, I don't know. I need some more. I need some freshies. So, hook me up. <laughs> um, all right, and then uh, also the scene, it's not just my approach disc, but also whenever it's windy, I putt with it. Um, it's still overstable even though it's beat up, so it rides that wind really nice when I uh, putt into a headwind. Just really controllable. Really controllable. And uh, the ones I putt with the most, though, are Judges. So we got Classic Blend and Classic Blend. I actually putt with Classic Softs during the winter, but the Classic Blend during the summer is so money. Um, I actually modified my putt a couple weeks ago, so uh, you'll, you'll see it eventually uh, with the future videos coming out. I actually do have the um, round from Wildcat. Wildcat Bluff, which is uh, one of the courses played in Titan. It's, I believe, the number one course in Iowa, and uh, it's amazing, but we have that on film. I'm going to try to put that out soon. Might not be till I get back, though. I don't have my editing software with me. So that's everything except for these two hanging out on the top, and you probably know what these are going to be. We got the Moonshine Spark, um, really old, beat-up one, and... Uh, Pretty fresh. In fact, this is super fresh. I just broke it out this past weekend because I stuck uh, the other freshy spark I had in the top of one of those cedar trees at Cedar Creek Open, and she gone. But hey, if you're a Fairmont, Minnesota local out there on hole, I believe it's 13, last tree in the corner, if you look up, you can find yourself a pretty fresh moon moonshine spark uh don't worry about sending it back to me if you go out there and find it you can have it whatever but yeah that's my bag throw these dogs for thumbers thumber rollers forehands backhands i threw it for almost everything this past weekend um my favorite driver for sure so this was the bag this past weekend and it will probably stay pretty similar this weekend um you know the bag changes depending on what course i'm playing so if I need more discs, um, I got more space up top, uh, but really this is the most discs I've been carrying at any time and forever. I can't remember the last time that I had every one of these little slots filled up, but right now I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I got 13 discs in there right now. Probably doesn't seem like much to, you know, the normal pro seems to carry more than that, but um, 10 to 12, that's pretty much my limit, unless I'm playing somewhere like at Ledgestone where I'm going to lose a bunch of stuff. But even at Ledgestone, I didn't need many discs because, well, I did, I just didn't need many molds. Um, I didn't throw a mid-range the entire time at Ledgestone. Tells you what the course was like, really, but, um, yeah, so my bag changes a little bit depending on where I'm playing and what's going on, but, uh, I'll probably do another little in the bag at some point. This video's run longer than I wanted, but I hadn't done one in a few weeks. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Latitude64 for all the wonderful support and the amazing discs and the Moonshine Spark and uh, and the Soft Cenus because I love the Cenus. Yeah, once again, you got some Soft Cenuses or uh, the old SP Cenuses. That's actually what I'm looking for right now. Lost the uh, one I was throwing constantly uh, on a putt at Ledgestone. Skipped off the top of a basket in a headwind, carried down a hill into a river, gone, gone. So, anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll get back with you. Hope to see you on the course.